so let's create one more function here and this one is going to be private uh, I'm going to say private connect that's what I will call it like this okay so this one private function sorry okay so here what we'll do let's copy this and we'll cut this instead and put it here so when we're asked to get an instance here we'll check if this is saved uh, then that's good we return it so we're going to say return copy this okay so if it's if it's good return it now else if it is not which means it will come here then we are going to say connect so we're going to return okay so all these are static okay maybe here let me instantiate this class so i'm going to say this uh the connection right here so i will use self self con is equal to new self so I'm actually instantiating the class from within the class itself so self con is equal to new self okay great so I don't know if doing this is valid eh, we'll see okay so now here we make a connection here okay so once this uh, this part here has been instantiated it means this function is going to run during that instancing right and then right here we make the connection to there so let me do that so maybe I may not need this function I may just do it right there so let's try it uh, right there I'm going to say try we're going to use a try catch just in case we can get some uh, some errors here try catch and then we're going to say exception e like so I think we will use PDO exception like so and then if uh, things don't go well I will say die show us the message uh, e mm, I think it's get message if I'm not uh, mistaken like so these things are easy to forget so the advantage of uh, things like the database class is once you create it once you don't need to create it again you can just copy it and put it in your next project so here now I want to say uh, db is equal to new pdo so let's create a new pdo here now the thing is we'll have a string in here that's how you make a connection and then we put the username in our case it's root and then the password is an empty string like that but then let's create the string here so at the string here i will say string is equal to so the connection type is my mysql full colon and then host name i think that's what it is is it host or just host name host is equal to local host and then i will put a semicolon here and i will say db name is equal to uh, what's our DB name eShop underscore DB I think that's about it and so we get this and we put it there and 
we create a new PDO to that connection. And if everything went well, if we don't go this way, then everything has gone well. So instead of uh, setting it to that, I want to set it to this. So I will say self is equal to new PDO like that. Okay. So let's recap what's happening here in a nutshell. So when we want, instead of instantiating our class, the way we say database is equal to new database, we are just going to uh, call this static function, which is get instance. So get instance will check if we already set this, if it is not set, or if it is set, sorry, we're going to return whatever that connection is so that it's the same instance. But if this doesn't run, it means this will run, which will create a new version of this entire class. So once a version is created, because immediately you instantiate a class, the construct function will run. So it means we are going to assign that uh, this self connection to this. Okay. And then once we do that, it means we have returned. Uh, actually here, instead of uh, doing this, I should have made a return here, right? Return self con right there. So my bad here, I think it would be better to do that. So I will say return like this db something like that. So I'm doing a return so that because this is the place that is calling this function so that when I do a return here, uh, it will return that here, or will it? I think I was correct there then. Ah, okay. So let's try it this way. We'll see if it doesn't work or if it works. Return self con. Oh, let's just say a is equal to new self, something like that, and then return the connection. Because once we instantiate this, the connection is going to be uh, set there. And once it is set, then we can return it. So I guess we don't need this function at all. Okay, goody, goody, goody. So let's see if uh, we can actually run this. So I want to say get instance, copy this, put it here. We'll try to run it right there, even though this is not where we're going to be running it from. So I will say db is equal to uh, database get instance, like so. Okay, db get instance. Mm. So let's try and run our website and see. Okay, so there's a syntax error here, unexpected PDO exception. One second, I think I did something wrong here. All right, let's go up here and see. Oh, sorry, my bad. This uh, should be there, like so. Oh, and a space there. Good. Refresh. Okay, so now that we don't see any errors, it means uh, things worked out actually. So the reason we did all these gymnastics is to make sure that we only have one instance. So let me come down here since we get the instance there. I want to see what we can uh, echo. So we have this function in, uh, in, the, in the functions file. So I would just say show db. So let's let it show us what is contained in there. Call to undefined function show. Okay. Now that's because uh, inside our config, or not our config, our init, that's because database comes first than function. So let me move this up like so. One step up. And let's try to run this again. Okay. So it's showing me that this is a PDO object, which means everything went well and we made a good connection. Right now, let's do one more thing. Uh, let me leave this here so that we can make sure that the connection is good. 
I want to come here and uh, I want to change this because we want to do it very well so that we don't come to the database uh, function to database class to change anything even when we change our database we want to use these guys here so let me copy these guys and let me paste here like so so i will go here and say db user and get that one because this is the user right here which is root and then i'm going to get db password and put the db password there good and then I will replace the user here. Uh, actually, let me start with the DB type, which is right here, MySQL. So I will paste this here, put a dot to concatenate, and then remove the MySQL. And then this is the local host. So that's one thing I forgot. I was thinking, what did I forget? And that's the host, DB host local host like so okay so let's come back here and the host forgot to copy yet copy host and let's connect like so how can we do this in a better way hmm okay let me let me do this uh, in a more civilized manner so what I will do, since these are, make sure they are double quotes outside, so that if I put the DB host here, let me just put it there, and then I can use my curly brackets like so, to make sure it's evaluated. And so I can do the same thing for DB type as well. So right there, DB type, and then open close. What else is there? The database name. So where is DB name? There we go. So let me delete these guys now. I don't need them no more. DB name, paste there, put your brackets. I think this looks more readable than that concatenation we were about to do. So let's refresh again to make sure could not find driver. Okay. So what that means is this DB type is wrong so let me go back to db type here my sql hmm why though okay so let me see what is going on here db type uh, db host and db name hmm. everything looks fine so let me let me just echo out this string right here before so that I see what it's giving out. Ah, I see. So it's not evaluating these guys. Oof, so much for that. Well, it was worth a shot. So let's redo. Redo, redo, redo. Okay, there we go. Okay, so one more time, I will get the DB name, for example, and then put it there. So I will remove that concatenate db name and then i will get db password oh db password and user are not needed here so there is db type which i will put here stop and then delete a few host name and then we get the local host put two of those guys like that so db host copy sorry about the runaround but uh, sometimes it's important for you to see the possible mistakes that way next time you make a mistake of your own you can know where to go okay so there we go we have the host we have everything here i think this should run so let me refresh and there we go so pdo object working just fine very good so let me show you the full uh, thing here. This is the full class and how we will be instantiating is like this. So let me remove this as well because we don't need it here. Okay, so, so far so good. In the next video, we're going to look at how to create uh, some extra stuff here, some extra functions so that we can read and write from the database uh, without trouble. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.